Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. It has been a while. I used to play it a lot and it's nice to come back from time to time. Now today's video is a record of a stream I participated in on the 10th of December. Quite a big multiplayer game centered around the Holy Roman Empire. But more about that in a moment. This video is sponsored by Paradox. Right now when I release this, the grandest LAN is happening on December 11th and 12th. And that event brings with it some extra deals. EU4 is free to play on Steam until the 13th of December. Just install it and play it for free. Check it out. Also, if you like it, the game will be discounted by 75% off. And most DLC by 50% which is quite a good deal, don't you think? And even if you don't want to buy it, just use the free weekend to check it out. Also, as most Paradox games, this has the base game and a lot of DLC. But if you're playing multiplayer, like I am now, if the host of the game has a DLC, all the players can use it. And if you end up liking them, well, the DLC are on sale as well. And finally, as I mentioned, the grandest LAN is happening. There's some intense multiplayer going on. Do check that out. Tune in to Paradox's Twitch channel. Go watch it after. You watch this video. The game centered around the Holy Roman Empire. We were allowed to pick a country from the HRE, plus Poland and Burgundy from some extra tension. I, of course, picked Poland. I will try to join the HRE, but will not sacrifice Lithuania to do so. Essentially, I need to get a high relation with Austria and get rid of some provinces before we get Lithuania or Moldavia. Otherwise, I won't be able to join. But even if I don't join, it will be fine. Who else is playing? Well, we have Zlevik as Dietmarschen. Atlas 91 as Brandenburg, Realms Deep as Bohemia, we'll have to watch out for these two. Pulchny Niedźwiedź, a Polish YouTuber, as Austria, might be some alliance material. Dragoon as Landshut, Floriwary is Florence, a very powerful pick, if he has time to grow. But let's not kid ourselves, Flory is the best. Then we have Master of Rawfulness as Milan, I should have been clicking them all. Kazakhstan as Switzerland, Chubishut as Ulm, Absolute Habibi as Cologne, Uncle Dead as Holland. I seem to be in the game. Hello? Good morning or afternoon, lads. I hope you're doing well today. Hey! Flory! Hello. Sadly, my uh, son has already gone to, uh, you know, start getting to sleep, so uh, you can't hear him on this Aww. call. Well, you mentioned once that you enjoyed those little tidbits in the videos. Yeah, they're cute. See you conquering the Soviet Union and then randomly hearing <laughs> And here we go. Now the goal is to dominate the Empire, if we can do that, although I am very rusty with you 4 I'm thinking of making an alliance with Pulchny Niedźwiedź, who's a fellow, fellow Polish person. Austria, be my body! I want to be friends with Lemperer, please! Everybody just sent them an offer alliance. <laughs> Same, I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. Would you like to know more? And we are a go. Nobody seems to be attacking me. Let's bring the army maintenance down. Brandenburg allied with Bohemia might be a problem. Let's befriend Austria if we can. Holland, which is a player, already started an independence war in Burgundy. Everybody's improving relations with Austria. Right, so can I join the empire? I might set up the provinces we want. Go on this, and this, and this, and this. So that Lithuania and Moldavia can start justifying on those, if, when, I get them. There was some bug with Austria, but he's back in the game. Oh, I'm allied with him, and he's allied with Flory. Wonderful. Oh, god damn it! I made a mistake. I rivaled Lithuania, and I can't sell them provinces, which is a problem. Well, my brilliant plan was that I was supposed to sell some provinces to Lithuania and join the Holy Roman Empire. Sadly, I forgot that I cannot do that. It doesn't matter in the end, because I wouldn't have enough time anyway. Well then, we need a Jagiellon. Let us form a personal union over Lithuania. Wait a minute, Denmark likes me. Denmark likes me, this never happens. Now this is interesting. Hungary is off limits, it seems, because it's allied with Austria, who's my ally. Now I still need Moldavia. Can we get Moldavia? In the meantime, I'm hoping my subject Lithuania will start making some war goals. Some claims, sorry. And they already have claims here. Wonderful. Sadly, I do have a truce here. Let's bring ourselves closer to Denmark. And we'll want to fight the Livonian Order, Novgorod and Wallachia, if we can. Don't want to touch the whole Roman Empire just yet. Zlevik is attacking East Frisia. Aggressive. So, Roman of Moldavia. I guess I'll build spy network just in case he refuses. Hungary is claiming some of my stuff. Uh, if they attack me, that's gonna be good for me, because I don't think Austria will join such a war. And I should have Lithuania and Denmark on my side, maybe even Muscovy. I'm working towards that. Ah, Denmark is the rival. No. How is Holland doing? Oh, I'm with England and France, fighting Burgundy with England and France. Uh, yeah, good move. Florence, played by Flory, of course. What are you doing? Mm, nothing right now. Bohemia doesn't have any claims on me. Oh, they're going for Saxony. Saxony is not a player, I think. I could ally them and 
we mess with Bohemia, but we don't really need that. I want to focus on expanding my power, not on messing with other players. Then, once we're powerful, we can do other stuff. Denmark has no air, really. Let's carry favors with them. It's a bit late for that, but um, who knows? Maybe I can get a Jagiellon on their throne. Moscow is already moving against Novgorod, which is fine, as long as I get a bit for myself as well. Lithuania has claims on all of the Lithuanian order. Maybe I should just give it to them. Could also go after Crimea. So many options. I still need to wait for the truces to drown out. Relations with Moscow improved. They do love me. Could get an alliance with them if I didn't have Denmark, but I think Denmark is a more reliable ally for me. Oh, Brandenburg is already fighting the Teutonic Order. Really? Yes, that sends soldiers and aid Roman. Come on, Roman of Moldavia. God freaking damn it. <sighs> that was very unfortunate. Hello, so you wanted right. to talk about something. My goal, of course, as Brandenburg is to form Prussia, but I know that that is uh, not something that uh, is accomplished without talking to Poland first. Is there any settlement in which I can form Prussia that doesn't end up bringing us into conflict? Uh, I don't remember. What provinces do you need exactly? Because I think, is that all of the Teutonic Order? Uh, no. Um, I need Danzig and uh, uh, Konigsberg. And that Stoltz, Danzig, Konig. Sorry, I'm getting into a fight. All right, in. we'll talk later. Brandenburg wants to make a deal. He says he needs Danzig and Konigsberg, which are in my sphere of influence, to form Prussia. But he's in a war and he's not doing so well. I'm not sure he's in a position to do any of that. We'll see. Seriously, Moldavia is fabricating on me. I think I would actually welcome an attack from Moldavia. Traitors. I think I need to put military power first for a while, just because my king is very weak at that. Bohemia is about to annex Saxony, it seems. And it's not looking good for Brandenburg. The Vonian Order is attacking Novgorod. That is interesting. Might actually benefit me. Well, the important part is that we end the truce in December. Let's get our troops ready. Build up army maintenance a bit. I wonder if Denmark would join me. I don't need them to, but they would. These Martians being quite aggressive. I'm actually going to help Brandenburg a bit by beating up Teutonic Order. Do we puppet? Sorry, <laughs> as of high and speak. Uh, do we vassalize the Livonian Order or do we make them annexed by Lithuania? Let's go to the player's map mode. All right, the guys here have grown a bit. A lot of growth here. Come on, two more months and we attack. Oh, and their alliance with the Teutonic Order is gone now. And the truce is over, let's go. We should get in position on all of these provinces before Denmark does so, if they're available to, you know, get in on. The Livonian Order forces will be in trouble because they're pursued by Novgorod, myself and Denmark and Sweden and Norway. What matters is who takes the provinces. Ah, got my claim on Novgorod finally. Once we get the Livonian Order, if we get the Livonian Order, we can use them to expand it to Novgorod. In the meantime, there might be some moves against Bohemia. I'm going to leave one unit in each of the provinces occupied by Novgorod, so when the Novgorod War ends, if it ends, I should uh, get the occupation there. Brandenburg's alive, not doing too well, but alive. Novgorod did take some stuff. If I can take all of this, it'll be fine. Otherwise, thinking of making them a subject, but as it is right now, it might be better to just take the territory and then attack Novgorod afterwards. Okay, so Puchtaniewicz, the player of Austria, has just approached me, we talked Polish, so I'm not gonna put it here, with a deal to beat up Bohemia together. Because Bohemia is only allied to Switzerland and the Palatinate, which is not a lot. And he also has two subjects, so it's something. Mm, so yeah, I'm gonna take that deal after we deal with Novgorod. <laughs> For a moment I was scared that Moscow is in the war, but it's just, uh, it's just mercenaries, Contotieri whatever. Yeah, I can only feed two more provinces to Lithuania. I think I'll give them this and this and then take the north for myself. Is Brandenburg playing anymore? I'm not sure. He might have just crashed. Brandenburg doesn't show as a player anymore. Seems like Brandenburg has dropped out or crashed. All right, let's increase the autonomy and the newly taken territories. We just pieced out Novgorod, took a bunch of territory, including the Winter Palace. Now, sadly, what we're going to have to do is wait for some of it to be cored until we can core next ones. Also, I forgot to increase my stability earlier. Now, there are some separatists coming up, but it's not our rebels, at least not yet. And start on next in Mazovia. So we fed Lithuania a lot, and we can't really feed them anymore because they will be too big to form the Commonwealth. I don't think we'll be able to form the Commonwealth in the scope of this game because we, we've been playing for one and a half hours already. I think the game is going very slowly. Well, now we are up to speed three, but only now. Okay, what does the Winter Palace do? Unrest reduction, nice. Ah, extra stability, always love that. Now, can we deal with our estates a bit? Yes, we can. Let's summon the Diet and seize some territory. I think Austria is not gonna get their personal union over Hungary anymore. Let's get some more claims here. Another revolt. That's a lot of revolts. Fortunately, we're ready for them. Hmm? Zlevik is growing. Five provinces. The coring is going slow. Well, this is tempting. I cannot win this. <laughs> would be cool, though. Would be very cool. But we cannot win this. 
No. So we get the restoration of Union, Cassus Belly, and Austria. Normally I'd use this single player, but this is a human player who's allied to two other human players and some other stuff as well. Ooh, Hungary doesn't want him as an ally anymore, which means it's Hungary time, it seems. Let's build spy network there. Because without Austria, Hungary is pretty weak. Now, we were supposed to attack Bohemia, but it took too long, and they managed to get an alliance with the Ottomans. Which is gonna be kinda problematic, I think. Especially since Hungary no longer wants Austria as an ally for some reason. If I attack Bohemia, would the Ottomans join? They would, yes. Bohemia ended their war with Brandenburg, form coalition. Not enough aggressive. So they were aware of the option. They did not want the coalition against them. Alright, I can understand that. Ah. Oh. They're doing rain in Italy. Kill the rebels, kill the rebels a bit more. Oh, this Martian is taking over Brandenburg? So, Hungary, if I were to attack you. Palatinate, Bavaria, Moldavia and Croatia. So they would join Hungary if the ruler was not malevolent. What if I used my favors for that? Polish inheritance? Hmm, Brandenburg's alive. Gonna be a vassal? No. Gonna be a personal union? Uh, sure. Well, let's get a royal marriage. Keeping Bohemia on their toes. Move capital, yay. Or prestige and base tax. I still want to beat up Wallachia, but I don't have access there. Polish Confederation seeks Polish uh, blah blah. Yes, whatever. Yes, I want that. Support the battle. Accept their call to arms. Okay, this is going splendidly so far. We want to get the Prussian Confederation on our side, of course. But what should we get? Trade, maybe? Influence for our vassals? We are well suited to vassals. Could get Moldavia and Wallachia's vassals for annexations as well. That would be good. There's influence. I have lots of vassals and stuff like that. That should work nicely. Hmm, Burgundy, always without an air, always tempting me. I wonder, if I take these three provinces, would I get a coalition? Doesn't seem like it, no. Let's go to the player map mode for a moment. Was that knowledge sharing from Ulm? Sure, Chewie, you can have it. I have money. Oh, nice, Lithuania is beating up the Teutonic troops. Good. Come on, Mecklenburg. Oh, monopolies, yes, extend all the monopolies. Oh, siege is over. Can I get you as a subject? Not yet, no. Alright, let's take some more territory. It's fine. Maybe I don't have enough war score. God damn it. I did not want that much territory. Ah, crap. That's disappointing. I don't want to core all this. I can do Prussian Confederation mission and then give them the territory. Or I could just core it. Right, let's do the mission. This is Polish culture, so I'll core it myself. This is Prussian. This is Prussian. This is Lithuanian. But I cannot grow Lithuania anymore. So what we shall do now is take Danzig and grant them some provinces. Okay, the plan is, we, I have teamed up with Austria. They now have a Cassus belly to get a personal union over Hungary. I will help them do it, but I want some territory for myself. So what I'm gonna do, I have an alliance with Denmark. I told them to prepare for war and also reduced their opinion of Hungary, now they will join me in a war against Hungary, which I will do in a moment once Austria is ready. Uh, one problem is they are allied with the player of Bavaria. Yes, Denmark, you can have military access. Do not attack anyone. Why, they can't, because I told them to prepare for war. New core, wonderful. Oh, so cool. Claim throne, claim throne, claim throne. Right, we have a Cassus belly on Brandenburg to get a personal union. I also talked to Austria to break their alliance. We'll quickly attack Brandenburg, expanding our sphere of influence. Polish Renaissance. Nicholas Copernicus, wonderful scientist of Polish origin. Brandenburg, wanna be my personal union subject? You do! Personal union with Brandenburg. Subjects war joined. Yeah, let's deal with that quickly. We have colluded with Austria to attack Hungary together. First, I take what I can in my 100 percent peace deal and then he takes the personal union bohemia has rivaled me hmm finally i have been rivaling him for a long time oh but if he attacks me and calls <sighs> he's allied muscovy okay this is gonna be bad if he attacks me but i do have denmark on my side so we might be fine and brandenburg but brandenburg doesn't really work anymore come on just finish the siege and we can go after hungary denmark okay let's ask them to prepare for war again one more claim nicholas copernicus extra stability please okay it's happening going after hungary did austria attack hungary yes they did did bavaria join the war they did not huh. that's gonna make things much easier no, the real problem, the only danger for me right now, is Bohemia being allied with Ottomans and Muscovy and hating me. The Vagrodian separatists of Lithuania. I think Lithuania can handle that. And I want Moldavia as a subject. <laughs> All their forces are going after uh, Brandenburg. Poor Brandenburg. They just can't get a break, can they? A truce with Danzig has ended, which is not a problem because they love me. Now, Austria could betray me, and it would be pretty bad for me, because he could call all the allies in. If he now made Hungary his subject before I finished my, you know, uh, conquests. So he could do that. Would be an interesting turn of events. We would earn a new enemy. 
These machines doing really good work. Bohemia insulted me. He really wants to fight, doesn't he? Well, I did provoke him. Hungary does not stand a chance, and uh, Austria will get quite a lot of strength out of it, but I also want my part. Now, they're asking how many hours we have left. Fleury wants to do 10. Chewie seems to have some issues, which might mean he has to be off the game for a moment. Now, my plan is to, of course, take Moldavia and bits of Hungary, and then immediately attack Wallachia and either feed them to Moldavia or just have three vassals. We can handle it. We're the vassal master. I like having vassals because you don't have to move their armies. They do that for you. And I'm lazy like that. Lots of expansion happening here. So look at the player map mode. How have you guys grown? Whoa, Flory's done a lot. He is already bigger than Milan. Same for Bavaria and Bohemia. Everyone's growing. I mean, I'm the biggest, but I started in a position of strength. Siege is um, complete in Brandenburg. Now just this one and we should be able to piece them out. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Hungary. Let's see what we got. We got a lot of territory. Go home. No, don't go home yet. Declare war on Wallachia. Immediately get a claim. Or two. And go. And Austria's gonna get all of this Hungary. In the meantime, I should probably start making calls, don't you think? And maybe decrease autonomy. Increase autonomy, sorry. I don't like dealing with rebels. We made our borders nice. I mean, they were nice before, just not too terrible, border gore, and Austria is getting their Hungary. Let's annex Danzig soon. Well, I would like to form the Commonwealth before the end of the game. We have two more hours to go. Also, maybe beat someone up. Let's build Spy Network in Novgorod. Moscow will probably not take all of it, so I'll try to maybe grab some territory. So, I'm curious. what do you want to talk about? Uh, nothing in particular. I'm curious what your goals are, because I see Florence attacking Burgundy. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's just, it's just for uh, Monarch points. Just for monarch points, okay. But my goal is to dismantle the HRE. <laughs> oh, so you want to dismantle? Yeah, I want to, because uh, there's a couple of other republics, and I want to, together with them, try and dismantle the HRE. So I don't know if you're still going to be allied to Austria, but that's probably who we're going to need to be fighting. Does Austria know your plans? No. <laughs> probably <laughs> not. Tell him. No, I'm not going to tell him. It's going to ruin the fun. Poor Hungary. He looks, he just looks so sad. <laughs> Actually, now there's a little bit of a blanket around him, so I guess it's not that bad. Um, maybe maybe we need to figure out some big player war or something, you know, the HRE versus the dismantlers. Yeah, something like that. Well, I might want to beat Bohemia because I started, you know, we started colluding with Austria to beat up Bohemia. I got my claims and everything and Bohemia wised up to that, stopped their expansion so they wouldn't get a coalition and got alliances with uh... Ottomans and Muscovy actually. <laughs> <laughs> the Ottomans in Moscow, what? <laughs> Th that could be a challenge. Oh, man. I think that's all I wanted to ask, unless you have something to add. Uh, no, not really. I'm just uh, happily grabbing innovativeness and devving away. You're looking forward to uh, an in-person ParadoxCon, maybe in the future some sometime? Or have oh, you yeah, gotten definitely. used to, you know, not, not going anywhere? I, I hope soon, but, you know, mm -hmm. 2022, hopefully. Uh, probably 23, but yeah, sometime knows, in the future. Quality is fine. I don't want to do administrative ideas because I would like to rush level 10 admin. This way we can get the Commonwealth, which of course is beautiful and wonderful and all the best. Right, maxed out relations with Moldavia, annexing Danzig. That's a nice border go here, especially this one. Religious wars being discussed. It would be interesting. It's time to kill Novgorod. Let's have a look at the player map mode. Let's see, who do we have here? This is Flory Worry. Shogun of Sorrow. Dragoon is Bavaria. Pulchny Niedźwiedź is Austria, of course. Absolute Habibi Cologne. Uncle Dead. Holland and Zlevik. Steve Martian. And of course, Bohemia, Realms Deep. The one I meant to conquer but couldn't because he allied everyone. We seem to be setting up some sort of a final showdown. The Empire versus the opponents of the Empire. Novgorod is no more. Let's kill some Teutonic Order troops. Ooh, Brandcastle. I went there. So the idea is for me, Bohemia and Austria, to fight all the rest of them. That's a lot of people to fight. Teutonic Order is no more. Four years and the final war is starting. The stakes, the existence of the Holy Roman Empire. Now, as Poland, I should really be opposed to the Holy Roman Empire, but it has been treating me well. Austria is a great ally of mine. Austria, of course, wants the Empire to stay, because they rule it, and Bohemia? Well, they probably see themselves as the natural candidate for the next emperor. So our spies have told us that the rest of them intend to break free from under the Emperor's rule. Well, I will honor my alliance with Austria. I was hoping to do the Commonwealth, but that doesn't seem possible. Maybe I can annex Moldavia, though. Three years left until the war. Pretender. Let's kill the Pretender. I didn't really have time to deal with my trade. I probably should be collecting in Danzig here. No, there's a fort here. 
Kill them quick. Probably add some cannons to these armies, don't you think? Two cannons each. Let's make stretching a march. I should have invested in military a bit more. It's gonna be Bohemia, Austria and myself against all the other players. Florence is defender of the faith and I need more prestige than they do. I have 95. How much do they have? They have 100. Can I get more prestige? Oh, wait a minute, I can get prestige from the Pope. Here it is, morale of armies. Oh, morale of armies too. Didn't realize that. Let's do that. More prestige. Oh, Bohemia did the golden era. That's a good choice. I need Renaissance in one more province to do that. And the city with 30 development. I could do it. Yes, we should do it. Whoa, it's October. Ah, uh, quickly, forts up. Army maintenance up. The base currency, why not? And we have prestige. Can I do defender of the faith? Defender of the faith. <laughs> oh sure, faithful ally is requesting them to come to their aid. Yes, I will. That's the big war for the end of the thingy. Had to rehose due to crashes. So they're trying to dismantle the empire. Can they do that? It's Poland, Bohemia and Austria versus all the rest. But we do have some AI on our side. Lithuania, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Castile, Aragon, Naples, Hungary, Wallachia. Quite a lot. Smaller countries are stronger and these are all players. Some of their troops are very strong. And I'm rusty, so my troops are not very strong. But there's a lot of them. Uh, Cologne has like lots and lots of morale. Oh, they're attacking my Lithuanian army. You yeah. can see the exact details then. Who's fighting? Lithuania, 3.5 morale. No. <laughs> I wonder if Castile, Aragon and so on will help us a bit. No, no, no. I should probably retreat from this. Here's the mountains. Okay, that's looking good. You're fighting against Milan, 4.8. Castile is here. They came. And we won. Small battle, but still. Right, I think we try to make a push for München. Do we just like, attack Florence because right. he's the leader? I think we play defensively still. Yeah, we'd have to push through Milan. They're attacking. Ooh, that's not too good with the river. We're almost there. If the reinforcements don't come. Hmm, reinforcements uh, came in time. Damn, so close. I don't know if I'm just bad or if there's some lag, but I tried to stop these troops and failed and walked into their ambush in the mountain. <laughs> we are so outnumbered, it's ridiculous. <laughs> we are outnumbered, that is correct. Oh, oh, we got there, okay. That is looking promising. We will lose overall, I think. But it still looks promising. We held that off. That's something. Some you win, some you lose. Manpower used up. I have like 20 something in the field and that's it. It seems like we are outnumbered. Turns out the more players you have, the stronger you are because you can coordinate and get all the nice ideas. I think we were going to lose from the start and we are going to lose, but let's have a quick look. Yes, yeah, one, two, three against one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Seven versus three. In retrospect, we probably should have had another player on my side. I reinforced Austria, but it's not going well. It's, uh, I have like 15,000 left and no manpower. Should we peace out and leave Austria? To... <laughs> Let, let's run away, maybe. Brave Sir Robin, run away. Bravely run away, away. Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin. They just wanted to dismantle the, um, the empire, so I think it's over. Did they, did they dismantle the... Oh, God damn it! they did dismantle the Empire. Well, now we know that more players means honor, stronger. Gentlemen. I want to commend you on the net of alliances you made to protect yourself from me and Austria together. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I was worried you were coming for Silesia, so I was like, all right, um, hello, AI. Now you don't have an empire. <laughs> now you're a duchy just like us. Look at your empire now in shambles. <laughs> this is the part where the Ottomans come in to kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> they almost did. Uh, if we had my allies, it would have been it would have been different, boys. Oh, you're allied to the Ottomans and Muscovy. Okay. And, and France. France. <laughs> and France. <laughs> It was an honor, and thank, thank you all everyone. for playing together. So that was it, me playing you 4 for the first time in a very long time. Let me know how you liked the video, and if you would like to see more EU4 on the channel. And most importantly, remember, this video is sponsored by Paradox. EU4 is free to play this weekend, 75% off to buy, 50% off on most DLC, and tune in to watch the grandest LAN. All links are in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.